press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. I knew you guys are surprised to see a background without the Tech Primers logo. So long we have been seeing different technologies and we have been doing lots of coding. For a change, let's experience the technology by the way we do browsing. Opera, the company which created Opera browser, has come up with a new browser called Opera Neon, which is extremely cool. Let's see how we can use Opera Neon in our day-to-day -day life. And how is it different from Google Chrome, which we had been using daily? Don't get me wrong, this is the Opera browser. If you notice, it is completely transparent. And if I open it, you can see that the browser is present here. This is why I wanted a different background because if I have a Tech Primers logo, it will be very boring when I start explaining it. But if you see the experience what the browser provides, it is amazing. The home page is completely revamped. There is no tab option, it's not showing any tab. There is a search bar, there are some tabs here. And if I click on, let's say, YouTube, it is going to create a tab which is going to be here. The only downside I see here in this particular browser is the spacing. However, that can be sorted out when I do a maximize here. Everything goes away from here. The tabs which were in the left and right are gone now. Let me get it back. If I need to open new tabs, I can just minimize this or even press this plus option to create more and more tabs. Let's say I open more and more stuff, right? I'll open SoundCloud, I'll open Opera.com, and you see these options popping up here. These are the different tabs, and they look so cool. If you want to experience browsing, then you can use Opera Neon, obviously, that way you browse stuff feels so cool. However, let's say you want to be very focused and you want to do something specific. Let's say you are watching a video and you want to watch that video without any annoyance, then you can directly go to the maximize mode here, which eliminates everything except the content. The other good part about Opera Neon is this play option. So let's think that I am playing a song from SoundCloud. I'm just searching for my favorite music creator. So you hear lots of music from my videos, right? So this is the creator who creates these music. Let's uh, play a video or a, sorry, let's play a music from his collection, right? So I'll just uh, reduce the volume. I'll just reduce the volume. So let's say I am inside a different website let's say i'm inside facebook i can control the voice or the music from here i can control the music from the facebook tab directly i don't even have to go to the tab and then this say pass or play i can directly control that directly here which is a very good thing if let's say i'm playing a video the same applies as well so if i'm playing a video i can control that here the next part is taking screenshots. You can crop messages or you can in fact take sc screenshots and then save them. So if you notice here, I just did a screenshot here. I just took some screenshot and it gets saved in the gallery here and you can use it in that. You don't even have to use the snipping tool now. You can directly do that from the browser. There is also a downloads option. If you are downloading stuff, you can just take a look at it. Let's come to the settings here. There are different options like how we have in Chrome. Almost everything is similar. There is no extensions. Apart from that, you have a history. You have the settings option, which is all the same. If you notice, everything is almost the same, how it looks in Chrome. There is a new incognito window, and it looks amazing, isn't it? It just shows up an incognito background, and then there is a guy peeping it, and then change. It is extremely cool, isn't it? That's why I said I want to feel it. 
you can feel the experience of browsing if you are using Opera Neon. If you don't want incognito, let me close that. And you can control the tabs here directly. If I don't want this tab, I can just close this. Same way, I can just close the music tabs and stuff like that. The browser is available in opera.com. It is available for both Windows and Mac. I have installed it in my Mac. But if you are having Windows, you can definitely go ahead and try. Go to opera.com and then go to Opera Neon. And you can download the browser here. I just uh, was thinking about Opera and then I saw Opera was dead and I wanted to see what do they do now and then I realized that they have a new browser which is extremely amazing that's why I just started using it and then I just wanted to share the experience which I am getting out of the browser so you can also try it out and do let me know how the browser works if you want to get a new browser a new feel or a new way of browsing stuff you can use the Opera new. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.